So, okay, so you're making all this chemistry stuff and you're doing it for YouTube. You, it's all for YouTube, right? Like, yeah, you don't- yeah. I mean, like, how would you describe your content to someone, like, maybe mm. some people in the audience? Mm. How, how would you describe someone, your, your content to people who don't know what you do? I think maybe I should say how it started. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. sure, sure. No, I'm saying, like, just for it to make sense. Yeah. Right. I've P. always been, I've, P. Sorry, yeah. I've always sorry, just doing just random projects. So as yeah. a kid, I used to build a lot of things. Mm. Right. So I, I made like bike jumps and mm, mm, mm. just, I, I tried to build a bunch of random stuff. Mm. And then at some point I got into fireworks and firecrackers. <laughs> Hold on. This that's is, a, that's a big jump from like <laughs> tiny little jumps to explosive shit. So, cause in Canada, you can't buy firecrackers. Oh really? Well, well are they just like- It's illegal? even more concerning that you were playing with them. Yeah, so like whenever you would get them- <laughs> Could you buy like, bike cracks as well? <laughs> Sorry? Could you buy bike yeah, jumps why, as well? Yeah, that's why they stop being as uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. fun. Wait, so how, uh, what age are we talking about now when you got into fire? Shockingly young, I'd say. Like, <laughs> I would never let a kid do that. Like probably, this is like the one story I have with my neighbor too. My, we were trying to make smoke, I was trying to make smoke bombs with my brother mm. and we found the recipe right. in a book because you had to go to the library to yeah, find yeah, these yeah. recipes. This is insane. Wait, how old were you? I think I was nine. Or ten. Oh my god! I thought like this was like smoke bombs. I, I thought this was like your teenage years. No, 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 no. I was like, so we made it. We've like basically in the book it says, even heating, don't overheat it. My brother and I are like, oh, we can get away with a blowtorch, and we overheated it, so it went off in the garage, and smoke's pouring everywhere. And then to put it out, there's like ash all over my dad's stuff, and we freaked out and shot water all over. It's all electronics. Oh my god! But the neighbors like, do we need like the fire department? It's a, there's just smoke pouring out of the garage. <laughs> And we're like, no, it's okay, we got this. And she's like, okay. So you were doing that wait, stuff at nine. I wait, was like wait, eating Legos at Wait, nine. yeah, oh, wait. Was, yeah, we were doing I This is insane. Yeah. Like, this is insanity. I think and I got a I remember all the memories are coming back. So like yeah. one thing we did was you know, like little caps you put in like cap guns? Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah Australia. <laughs> Wait, where do you think I'm from? Oh, Britain. Yeah. I'm from Australia. He's the Australian he's, 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 one. Yeah. You, yeah. I'm not from a prison. I would never. Uh, I yeah, we we, we cap guns. Is that? Yeah, we do have those. We have those. Like the little that, paper caps or the little plastic ones you put in a fake gun and oh oh, they just go bang. I thought you meant the ones that they use in like the race guns. Those are starter pistols. Those are much yeah. louder. Oh, okay. okay I mean, like okay. the little kid toys, right? Yeah, yeah. Like the ones that make the sound, but nothing comes out, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. yeah. I think I know those. Yeah. Okay. We, I think we have those yeah. in the UK. I don't know. I thought some people. I don't, maybe, yeah. I don't know. But my, probably think I was like 10 or 11. My friend and I would, we found that you could take the paper caps, mm, you could cut right. them all up and I'd pack them in like really tightly and you could put them in a paintball gun and then shoot it and it would explode when it okay, hit things. Where did you get a paintball <laughs> gun from? Oh, I got it at the, the store. My parents let me buy all this What stuff. the fuck? <laughs> your parents are so lucky that you still have all your limbs. So <laughs> now, like, how are you not maimed bad? <laughs> Cause my dad, I mean, I think the big thing is my dad, the reason we did it because my dad liked firecrackers and he liked all this stuff. And I think the reason that we didn't get hurt was because our first experience was he taught us everything. So he would okay, be like, right. the thing like, you'd be like, never light a firecracker and throw it. Because right. as a kid, he's like, I don't think his friends ever lost their fingers, but he's like, we, he goes, we had some close calls and I think a friend did lose like a piece of a finger. So he's like, no, you don't do that. You light and run. Yeah. So like he taught us a lot of that stuff. I mean, we had BB guns at like 10, but he's like always wear safety glasses. Like we learned all our guns. Here's a gun, wear some glasses. No, he was always there with us. Light and run, is that the official safety regulation? <laughs> just, light, just light and run, just yeah. light and run. It just, if you light it, you're not holding it. Okay, so, so, okay. so you were doing that. Mm. And then in the library, there was a Oh yeah, book? I, ne I never even like, <laughs> this is a huge tangent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it was just, there was no internet at the time. So, but in the library, there was a book that taught you how to make smoke bombs. Well, loosely, they just kind of said like smoke bombs are made using this. <laughs> oh, and you just extrapolated? Yeah. You were like, oh, well, I can get that. And yeah. getting, actually now I remember getting potassium nitrate, which is also called salt. As, as you do. As you do. <laughs> we couldn't buy it. We couldn't buy it. But I don't even know where you buy it now. Well, I know you can just buy it online now, like eBay and stuff. <laughs> but my dad was like, oh, your grandfather has some left, I don't know where he got it from. He left had, he had left those. <laughs> what? You realize everything you've said so far is insane. Like this is this, all, this, every single beat of this story is insane. This story has got progressively more insane the more you've said, the more I don't know, I, I don't know why he had it. So, he had this really old, like, just, it was just in our garage. Does it explain? So, okay, so, so, so you want to make a smoke so. bomb and then you get this book and you go to your dad and you're like, hey dad, I want to make this smoke bomb. Yeah. And instead like, of- I think I got some. Yeah, instead of, your, <laughs> instead of your dad being like, no son, come on, that's silly. He's like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go and get some potassium, potassium, what was it? Potassium nitrate. Potassium nitrate, yeah. of course, yeah, naturally. We what, did what? have a successful smoke bomb after the first failed one. 
Wait, Yo, what, what, happened? what happened? What What was the difference between the failed one and the successful one? Well, we overheated the first one. It went off while we were making it. So it's like, <laughs> it just filled the house with like the whole garage. Was your dad watching you the first time you were making the smoke bomb? No, he was watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, and then and then you fucked it up so badly. He was like, all right, when you're gonna do it again, let me watch. No, I think my brother and I just, just said, okay, we shouldn't have used a blowtorch. <laughs> I don't okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. So, okay, so wait, you, did your dad never like question me? Like, why is the garage smoky? My dad is inexplicably tolerant to like, I think it's cause as a kid, he, my dad did some crazy stuff as a kid. Yeah. Like the BB guns, he taught us how to shoot. Hmm. As a kid, he right. was like, we had BB gun wars <laughs> with no safety glasses. He goes, you would just shoot each other. And he goes, I remember many days I'd come home and you have to pick BBs out with tweezers. Oh my God. And I was like, what happens if they hit your eyes? Like, I don't know, I guess you went blind. We never thought about it. <laughs> And I was like, what, are, what about your mom this whole time? Is she just like, for fuck's sake. My mom got mad at us for like- Everything. I, no, no, she, I remember there was one time my mom got mad. Okay. Because- Only it, one? This is this is gonna sound even like it's- This is great. This is okay. no, no, please, you may as well keep <laughs> upping the okay, empty at this please, point. Please. So it just like these memories coming back. I talked okay. to my brother about this recently. So we were like fascinated by fire. Right? What age, like, what age, okay. like, we were like, we were what, like cavemen. What age was okay. this? I think about the same age. Oh my, nine? Like nine, 10. 10. Oh my God. So 10. nine, 10, fascinated with fire. Okay, yeah. so here we go. So what we like to do, like the idea, I, I remember days I'd come home, <laughs> so bad. I would just go in my garage. I just pour like some paint thinner into a can and just light it on fire. Just cause I was like, <laughs> I just like burning stuff. <laughs> So, right, so that's how people become arsonists. <laughs> <laughs> so what we like to do- Oh my <laughs> God. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. what we like to do is like soak a rag yeah. in like some paint thinner or something. You just made a Molotov no, cocktail. No, no, no. <laughs> we, no, just listen, we wrap it around like a stick yeah. and we like yeah. to light it on fire and just like swing it around. As we what? were like 10. So you made like the torches in like all yeah. the movies. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right. so like what my, this is like the extra level I said. My brother, I remember exactly what he did. He found out a way to like, I remember exactly what he did. He like packed the rag, but he shot like WD-40 on it or something. And what he, my older brother did was he would like, I don't remember exactly. He make like, it would be fiery, but then he would make, it was in a tube and he would like blow on it and like smoke would come out. And he would use it to like, we had wasp nest. He'd use it to try to like, kill oh my the wasps. God. I don't remember if it ever worked. I mean, uh, it but my was. mom, my brother would do that. And then mm -hmm. I would be like swinging around like this fiery stick. And we thought she wasn't home. And when she came home, because we'd light it in the front and run to the she back. She just saw two yeah. Neanderthals she caught us just in the backyard. Yeah, running through the backyard with like giant flaming sticks. And my mom was like, yeah, that's, so you, that, that's not okay. Your household was just like Ed, Ed and Eddie, like yeah. IRL, just like Phineas and Ferb, but yeah. like it was but way more dangerous. Literally that scene from Community where like fucking Childish Gambit yeah, yeah. walks in and just like, <laughs> everyone's on, everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. <laughs> so, it, okay. It didn't, I think the big thing too is like, I respect, I, like I respected my parents. Yeah. So when my mom caught us and told us don't do that, mm -hmm. I think I did, we did stop. Like we stopped well, lighting yeah, I like sticks. to think so. <laughs> we just- <laughs> you, you would be an interesting uh, study, I think. Like, is it is it nurture or nature? Let's find out. What makes a kid become obsessed with fire? Is it genetics well, or is it- well, I, th I think everyone is obsessed yeah. with fire to a yeah. point. I mean, you know, it's fucking, it's hypnotizing, you know? Yeah. You, especially setting things on fire. Okay. Like now, now I'm out you myself. Sound, you sound like, now I'm you sound like, like an arsonist. I, I get you, I, I get you. I've okay? been I camping get you, with him, he is an arsonist. <laughs> I had a bad experience though, which I then didn't light anything on oh. fire for two years. Yeah. Okay, do tell. It's crazy, do tell. right? Uh, so the big change for me was when I hit 12, where you could buy a lighter, right? All right this, oh, wait, oh. what? They just wouldn't sell lighters if you're less than, younger than 12. Why are they selling lighters to 12 year olds? <laughs> what reason would a 12 year old need a lighter for? I don't even know. Light your dad's cigarette. I like I like how you know this. Presumably you went to the, the store. Oh, they would never let you buy it. And then I- you, Did you go before 12? Yeah, and they would go, you're too young. And for some reason, now that I think about it, Nigel, every birthday, he like tests it out being yeah, like, yeah. oh, maybe this year, this, this, this is the year. year, this is the year. I don't know, but there's just an arbitrary age. Okay, I don't so, know so if it's yeah. a rule. So I don't know, I can't, can't be a lot. No, no, okay, in, okay. in, in the UK, the, the law before you can buy light is, is I believe 16. Right, so, right, right. Okay, yeah. so I don't know why I thought 12 in my head. Okay. I don't think I've ever bought a lighter. I didn't, I didn't buy a lighter until I was like in my twenties. I've just yeah. bought those kitchen lighters. You know, the ones with long ones. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I bought my first blowtorch when I was 12. Oh my fuck. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, hold on. Blow no, never, okay, hold on. Okay, 
It's, it's just like a choose your own adventure. I gotta, I gotta navigate which tangent I want to go down <laughs> yeah. here. Uh, that one's actually more. Re- the blowtorch one's more related to chemistry, but all right, okay. Let's okay. save the blowtorch <laughs> then. After Wh- okay, why did you become scared of fire for two years? Oh, so what happened was my friend, mm. the one who I built, like you know, the firecracker, like explodey paintball gun thing. Yeah, and as you do, all a lot of the stuff was with my friend, right? Um, right. growing up, and what happened was. <laughs> We, I don't know, we just like to, to light a bunch of stuff on fire. <laughs> and in, in in Montreal, yeah. I don't know if it happens elsewhere. It was around like, it was sometime in the summer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There would be like this big pollination thing and there'd be everything would be covered in white fluff. But oh. we found out that if you light it on fire, the fire just like travels as like a wave down it. Right. It's, oh. it's a massive fire hazard. I don't yeah. know how yeah. it even like, yeah. this, it's just, Okay. sitting around all the time. Okay. So it was really fun. We were, we'd bike around and if you found some, you just light it on fire. <laughs> but you'd always be careful. And so like- I told, Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I believe you. So okay. I told my friend- Light like, and run, right? Light and run. Yeah, run, run, run. run. Yeah. I told my friend, like, if you're gonna light it, make sure that you see the end of it. Like, it's not gonna just spread out. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I got you. But when he lit one, he, he lit it, and then he comes to me, he goes, uh, he's just freaking out because it just started like, traveling yeah so it, you could have like a patch this big you light it just like you know, yeah, expands. yeah it's gone but it expanded here but then you didn't realize it was connected to two things here and it just went and it just like it just chain reaction you yeah. try to stomp it out before you know it, it's covering like you know an area that you can't it's like huge All right. and then it goes into leaves and like sticks and just start you start having fire like this high what did it, so how your did friend it, did almost it, started a bushfire. Did, well, so, did it get put out? Well, so what happened is probably like, it was like along a fence. It was probably like from that wall, like twice the length there, there was yeah. like foot long fire, like flames. And like maybe like half the depth of this room to the point where you're like, you cannot stomp us out. You're just, the fire's just there. <laughs> did it go out eventually? And so multiple people <laughs> came by. It's really weird to think about. Like the cars pulled up and they're like, oh no, that's like, like a real fire. Like, should we call the fire department? They're asking yeah. 12 year olds. <laughs> or no, we were 11 yeah. to be like, should we call the fire department? And we're like, no, 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 we're putting it out. And they're like, okay. And they just left. What? <laughs> they just left. And then this old lady came by and we're like, we asked like, can we have some water? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like we even asked another guy. He's like, I don't live out here, and just left. <laughs> but like the lady's like, okay, and she just walks so slowly, and eventually we got water from her. Yeah. By the time we came back, the fire was like, <laughs> yeah, it was so long. So you're but, very lucky that it kind of dissipated. Yeah, but we panicked. <laughs> but what the scary part was behind. It was like a chain link fence holding all these leaves, mm. mm-hmm. but behind it was like multiple yards, like backyards of people that were filled with old leaves and like thick amounts. Oh my and god! And people on wood decks were like, it might have just burned people's houses. Yeah. Yeah. And so we kind of just panicked and my friend was like, I'm never lighting a fire again. And he just threw his lighter into like the forest. <laughs> and then it just set a blaze. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, we, we vowed to like never light a fire again. And so two years later we didn't you light sleep a fire. properly for like like a week. Well, yeah, because yeah. you guys were one step away from being arsonists. So you, yeah. so you very quickly got over your trauma then. It took two years <laughs> yeah. and you're back at it. I never really like, I, I kind of just stopped lighting things on fire. Like, I mean, like for that period, I just didn't. I just didn't right. like fire. You make it sound like it's something to be uh, like applauded. Like, well, congratulations, <laughs> yeah, 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 Nigel. Wow. Nigel, you, you quit fire. What this, a good kid. This is Arsonist Anonymous right now. <laughs> yeah. So so I've been uh, two years fire free. Haven't lit anything on fire. <laughs> yeah, saw, okay. saw a match the so, other day. And so, I, what, I, so what was the moment where one day your brain was just like, I'm gonna light a fire. I mean, like, so to, to, to clarify, it's more yeah. like when people would be like, oh, like uh, I go to, I was still pretty young, but people were like, oh, we're going to a family friend's place. Mm. They have a fire in the backyard. Right, yeah, I'd right. kind of be like, eh, I, I'm not like, I might not even go out and see the fire. Like I was uh, kind of just uh, like, right. very, I brought back like a very negative feeling that yeah, I was just like, yeah, I don't yeah. even want to be- <laughs> The guilt. <laughs> and I didn't even want to own a lighter. Yeah. Cause I, not cause it's like, I couldn't help myself. No, I just like frothing at the mouth. I just like literally holding it like brought up so much like panic. Cause right. I, I, we yeah. literally thought we were going to go to like, like kid jail. <laughs> like juvie or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we yeah. actually thought, cause at the time, both my friend and I wanted to go into med school. We're like, mm. our lives would be sweet over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. School, I, like, I want to be a vet. I was like, right. we, our lives would be over. So yeah. like it represented so much negativity mm. that I was yeah. like, I just didn't even want to own matches yeah. or a life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then obviously like two years later, you're kind of like, okay. And kind of, there are situations where you like, you might mm. need, like you're at like, I'm at my parents' house and my mom's like, here's the lighter. Can you light the birthday cake? And I'm not gonna be like, no. <laughs> so it's like, just eventually I just, 
it, I got over it. Yeah, yeah and yeah. I, I don't really. Yeah. Just yeah. Li- I just stopped. Li- I mean, it was also a kid phase of just lighting things. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, it's like she hands you the lighter and you just stare at it <laughs> yeah. for like five it's just minutes, like, just <laughs> like Nam flashbacks. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, it's like those horror movies where like the whole room just like. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs>